Hi everyone, this is the install video for the um, Springfield Echelon uh, extensions from Floyd's Custom Shop. I don't have the slide on here because it's out getting DLC coding right now uh, with porting and a custom design. Um, I did an install video for our magwells already and I showed the uh, base plate in there but I haven't showed the extensions yet. So I will go over the base plate as well just to show you. Um, first thing, we'll need a um, disassembly tool. I don't have the one from the Echelon, uh, but any tool that'll fit in there will work fine. You just push that spring up a little bit and then slide that off. Um, so the base plate, our base plate, will go on exactly the same way. Push the spring all the way down. Slide it on there, all the way on tight. Make sure you push forward on it. Make sure that that spring is latched in there. If the spring hasn't popped up over that ramp, we have the same ramp thing on here as the stock ones, then it will slide forward. That's good and tight. It's a nice low profile, sticks out enough for you to get a good, um, a good palm on there when you're reloading and still have bite to enable to grab those in case you ever need to strip a mag. The um, stock, I believe it's a plus five, what they give, um, does work in our magwell. It is tight, but it does go in there just fine, locks in perfectly fine, uh, functions well. I haven't, I've heard some people say it is very tight. I haven't experienced it being very tight. Um, you know, it can lightly push it in. It doesn't have to be slammed. Um, if the magazine is full, obviously it's going to be much tighter um, just because of spring pressure, but that has nothing to do with the magwell itself. Uh, for this, push that all the way in so the extension can slide forward. And then you're going to want to remove this locking plate. So peel it off the back like that and then go around the spring until it comes off. And then first I'm going to show you our plus two. Um, now this is much different than the way we normally um, mount our extensions. We're trying a new style. Normally we have um, it have full body in front and then we have a locking plate that um, goes on the back and locks the mag in. Uh, this we're trying uh, having the full material back here so that when it is dropped it can take more abuse on concrete and different stuff and then these two set screws in here is what actually locks in your magazine so uh, when we send these out these set screws will either already be in there with Loctite on them or they'll be out and the holes will have Loctite and so all you got to do is put the set screws in um, take them all the way down so that they're underneath this shelf here and then take the magazine push your spring all the way in and instead of going on from front to back you go back to front so push that all the way down and then work it on there so it goes nice and tight And then, once it's on there, you'll take the Allen wrench we provide and you will actually back these screws out. One. Two. Three. four turns gets you right about close to the top of that and enough that it is completely covering the rail in there. Do the same thing to the other side. One, two, three, 
four turns that is close to the top of that as well so it's not sticking out above that little flat but it's enough that it is over top of the thickness of that rail and now if you try to push it off it is nice and solid it's not going anywhere sticks out more than the low profile plate but gives you a nice bit to grab there nice insertion point and you get uh, two extra rounds in there making these 19 round mags now for the plus six it is the same way locking in there so push that all the way down and then get that good and flat there Slide it on the back to front, and then same thing. These are very small screws, they are a 440 and the wrench to go with it. So the the plus twos, the screw is straight with the extension. The plus sixes, the screw is actually angled in there. So it is straight with the top of the extension, but not with the mag body. Um, or no. Yeah, yeah, just straight with the top of the extension. So are these, these are straight with the top of the extension, but so that means that it's not straight with the mag body itself. So they are kind of angled in there. So just remember that I was trying to go in straight with the magazine, but it needs to be straight with the extension. One, two, three, four. You can go five times, um, just as long as it's not sticking up above that flat a whole lot. One. and um, try to make sure that the wrench is nice and deep inside of the screw if you um, try to do it when it's not you know good and deep in there you could start to damage the tops of the um, uh, not really the head of the screw but where the teeth are and um, if you do that too many times then you might have trouble actually backing the screws out or driving them in to actually remove the extension so it's nice and tight on there those are nice and protected under that lip. Again, those also push in nicely. They do have a little bit of movement back and forth and they are close, but enough away that it is not actually putting pressure onto uh, that. No matter how many times you slam it, it's not gonna over insert and damage that uh, ejector there. Yeah, that is the plus six, plus two, and low profile plate for the Springfield Echelon mags. Our um, mag wool for the medium frame, our large frame are also available, and we have small frame mag wells that are being sent to anodize right now. They should be back um, in a week or two, or depending on when you have seen this video, they may already be on the website. Uh, next thing, we are making magwells and plates and extensions for the Hellcat Pro, so keep an eye out for those.